Welcome to Lake Edge. This is beautiful community. It actually has beautiful homes. And wanted to let you know that it is in Middleburg, but near the Fleming Island Middleburg uh, county line. So that's a good thing. Um, people desire these areas out here for resale because of the schooling. Schooling was very good. Side entry garage, the thing I like about this side entry garage, they poured the extra paved pavers and you can park a car back there and still get in and out with another vehicle. Siding in good condition, roof looks like it's been replaced recently, so that looks really good as well. Walking up, you got the brick exterior and I'm walking up to the front door. And it's got double front doors, entry. I would take out or cut back some of these bushes as a recommendation. And it sounds like the air conditioner venting needs to be cleaned out. Nice little patio here. You could put some chairs and sit. Um, this gate leads to the back of the home. Um, their siding has a different texture to it. It looks like it's either been stained, um, but kind of unique and looking like wood. open. As you can see it opens up and the stairwell is right there and it's very close. But it smells clean. And I'll give you a view of what I'm doing. I'm looking up to the second story. And as I walk in if I look to the left there's a large open family room with a um, fireplace. As I'm coming around to the right, there actually is a half bath. It's been updated with new tile, new vanity, and new decorative mirror. So we're coming back down and around to the foyer. They left this little area here for a key drop or table. Coming into the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen's nice and open and big. Um, I would actually, if this were me, stain these cabinets. And um, stain the cabinets dark because they're good cabinets. And, you know, open this up some with maybe a, a tiled backsplash. The appliances are fairly new. They're just white. Um, maybe some painting these cabinets white and putting some decorative cute poles and a nice fashionable countertop could work but the kitchen's got good space huge laundry room and there's double doors here for the laundry room that show extra storage space sellers of this home have actually put laminate flooring down in their garage. I don't know why. Um, AC system. It's blowing cool. It's wonderfully cool inside. Doesn't look bad. Looks like it's been well maintained and that they changed filters. Hot water tank is huge. It was, looks like it's been installed in January of 2014. You can see by the date. Um, the AC system, I would recommend that you get a home warranty with this home. Um, panel box is up to code. Um, if you wanted to add a pool, you probably couldn't. You'd have to get an additional panel box, but 
kind of done. Coming back in from the garage into the laundry room. Into the kitchen. Miss Karen, I know my videos suck, but it's the best way to show you home. We're looking at that eat-in area, which they could put a nice chandelier. It's huge, which leads to a door that leads to the exterior of the home in the backyard. They did use the stairwell underneath for closet space. This would be the formal dining area. I'm coming from the kitchen. Leading into your family room. French doors in the family room. Lead out to a huge backyard. Nice big oak tree in the back. A big nice backyard and this patio is great. Now I'm going to take you upstairs for another tour. As we go up the stairs, Gerard's in there. They did dental molding too. If you can't see that, I'll bring it closer. Real pretty dental molding. So coming up the stairs, like that they have a landing. Um, a little concerned about the height of the railing because there's no railing here again to this side because it's very shallow so if you ever have kids that will be an issue they did put wood flooring up here we're coming actually around the foyer to this bedroom over here all wood flooring this looks like it's the master makes it look big because it does have a vaulted ceiling and it does have bay windows so coming on around here into the big master bathroom corner garden tub two vanity mirrors and as you can see they're very low because here's me and there's how low the mirror is it goes down so they're they're really low I'd eventually change that in the future. Um, floor to ceiling tile shower in good shape. Nice walk in closet. Second linen closet. And water closet. And yeah, the only thing that, that would probably disturb you in Colton is that countertop there. It's just really low. Okay, we're back into the master. The jetted out bay window facing the front of the home. Coming across the hallway. Have another bedroom. Probably can fit a queen size bed and has a closet. And then leads to a Jack Jill bath. There's the hallway again that goes into another bedroom for the Jack Jill bath. Two sinks, very low. Water closet plus. Tiled shower, we had a little fishy, so I take it this was the kids' bathroom. Little linen closet for the children or guests. So we're coming out of the Jack Jill bathroom, going into the second bedroom up here. And another nice size closet. Second bedroom, back out into the hallway. So two bedrooms up here, master over there, stairwell that leads down. 
by the front doors as you can see them. Coming back down by the front doors. Um, my dislike with this one would be the front doors and the stairs being right there. And they should have had the left door open, not the right door open. Um, probably can be switched. Don't know. Other than that, well-built home. I don't see any leaks in the ceilings. Roof looks new. Um, to open this foyer up, a lot of people will cut into that wall so that the stair rail rungs all come down, which makes this foyer huge. Just a thought. Um, other than that, well-built home. We'll see you at the next home on Oak Chime.